2, 1. Ortshaft ist auf der friedliche Wiesen. Das waren die magischen Worte. With the tapping of the ceremonial first keg, Oktoberfest begins and the beer starts to flow. But not all stones are alike at the world's largest and most famous drinking festival. This year, almost all of the iconic beer tents offer an alcohol-free alternative, many for the first time. Just a few kilometres away at Bavarian State Brewery Weinstefen, brewmaster Tobias Zolo says it's now 10% of their sales. We uh, think that uh, it's getting more and more popular in this, these days, that the people are unfortunately I have to say that as a brewer, unfortunately drink less beer. Alcohol consumption has been falling in the beer-loving nation for decades, but non-intoxicating options are only now achieving success, with Germans looking to avoid a hangover. For people who don't like to drink alcohol and want to enjoy the Oktoberfest as well, I think it's a good option, but sometimes um, people feel like they have more fun with alcohol, which is not a good thing, because you can also have fun without alcohol. With almost a thousand year history, the world's oldest brewery also follows the world's oldest food safety law, the German purity rule stating all beer must contain only barley, hops, yeast and water. Innovations in bringing new flavour to an ancient formula is boosting alcohol-free beer's success. Brewers uh, know that if you reduce the alcohol or if you uh, have no alcohol in the beer, you have a lack of aroma quality. And we produce or we breed special hop varieties that you can fill this lack of aroma in a beer that the non-alcoholic beers have a fully uh, taste as good as a alcohol beer. A 2022 study showed just 2% of Australian beer was alcohol free. But drinkers down under led the world in low and mid-strength consumption. But like much of the globe, beer sales are flattening as Aussies drink less overall and more opt for wine or spirits. In Munich, brewers hope their latest offering will keep the taps flowing. Angus McIntosh, ABC News.